I was raised by fundamentalist Christians, and they don't believe in makeup or laughter. <laughs> yeah, and it's hard to be cool when you think Madonna's just some shiny voodoo doll worshipped by Catholics. Yeah, good times in high school. No, my family tried to teach me well. They taught me that Jesus loves you as long as you don't vote for a Democrat or marry a black man. Um, Jesus didn't seem to mind that we were dirt poor and that I weighed more than my third grade teacher. <laughs> Mr. Schleicher. Yeah, this tall, 20 pounds, weigh more than I weigh today, people. Imagine it, it's not good. Um, and I blame my weight problem entirely on Ronald Reagan <laughs> and the failure of trickle-down economics. Because back in the 1980s, someone in the government thought it would be a brilliant fix to our nation's poverty crisis to give us all enormous bricks of orange cheese and butter. Anyone, government food program, audience of white people, anybody? <laughs> Just me. Yeah, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense when you think about it. It's kind of like, eh, we tried the food pyramid. Now let's go with the parallelogram of lard. And Ronald Reagan wondered why I failed his frickin' fitness test. Guys, the only thing I was sitting and reaching for in the 1980s was a grilled cheese sandwich made on day old bread, okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the religious right, they are big fans of the homeschooling. I'm gonna assume none of you were homeschooled because you are here tonight. Um, homeschooling makes a lot of sense when you think about it, right? Who's better qualified to educate our nation's youth than some child bride with a GED? You know, Mary Sue, who thinks that stem cells are like human sea monkeys. It's like, uh, okay, kids, Jebediah, Jedediah, Jeremiah, Jonas, John, Ezekiel, Mark, Matthew, Luke, Mary, Ruth, Marie, Mary, Ruth. Go get your brothers and sisters. Today, we're going to study history. American history, America, God's country, God's people, was founded in a, oh lordy, um, 1776, says so right here on my quarter. <laughs> That's when the pilgrims, good God-fearing folk, came over from Europe, <laughs> den of Sodom and Gomorrah, and George Washington killed all the dinosaurs and wrote the Magna Carta. No child left behind, God bless America. <laughs> oh.